Before we wrap up, I have one last question. Um, so what is your advice for the budding entrepreneurs and especially those people like who have great ideas and who want to like just plunge in and be able to execute their ideas, right? So uh, w- what is your advice for them? So there is one thing which I tell every every entrepreneur or whosoever is having any idea which you actually mentioned. So um, the incubation system in India is like really, really good. The problem is that uh, the entrepreneurs doesn't know that how government is helping people around or how the incubation centers could actually make a <coughs> big difference in your entrepreneurial journey. Mm-hmm. Um, people won't be knowing this, but the biggest investor uh, across the world is the Indian government. In they are, startups. In mm. startups. They are investing heavily and they really want startups to grow and change the economy of the country. So that is the reason uh, uh, the government is spending a lot of money or they are actually uh, giving grants or they are giving debt, whatever, but they are doing a lot. So it is just the right channel which they need to understand. They should be aware about the incubation centers. They should be aware about the government schemes, how they can actually... Uh, get help out of that because at very early stage you cannot you should not uh, give a lot of equity to in exchange of money mm-hmm. but these grants actually could help you out a lot to get into that phase where your revenue start churning up and then uh, if required you can get into these kind of um, fundraiser and all so uh, right. in my initial days when we started Mediseva thankfully I got connected to multiple incubation centers and to people around who were system expertise, who knew how the startup ecosystem works. Because I come from a two-tier city. and I am not from Bangalore or Delhi, where uh, mm-hmm. startup culture is already on to that level where everybody is aware about all the stuff. And there are people around who are there to help them out. So, but specifically, I'm talking about the entrepreneurs coming from tier two and tier three cities, that a mm-hmm. lot of help is available through government and a lot of help is available through incubation centers. So they should focus mm-hmm. upon that. Uh, and uh, then they could just take a, a um, big leap and they could do wonders then. Right. And that's a very valuable tip you shared. <laughs> and um, I really love that. So you do not succumb to pressure. Give, don't give up your equity at a very early stage. Right. There are grants available. They just need to probably do more research and yeah. believe in themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Vishesh and Rachid. This was a very valuable conversation. I really enjoyed the entire journey and like you sharing how you got into this.